Hello everybody, Mr. Sixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. This is my first video of 2022, and this year, we're going to take my channel to the next level. I've got lots of exciting stuff planned, but in today's video, we're going to do something we've never done before. Three races on three different tracks. The Super Speedway, the Drop Tower, and the Motorway. Let's get cracking. This is the Super Speedway, and it's the fastest marble run we're going to be using in today's video. Just have a look at what happened the last time we tried it. Right, this might be the most powerful booster pad that I've ever made in this game. Three, two, one, play! Here we go. Whoa! Okay, oh no! We're, oh, that was so quick. We're already off the track, and there's the end of the world. We've... <laughs> Oh no, where are we? I've lost the marble run. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone forever. In fact, it's so quick that the marbles are actually going to ride along the walls around the corners. That's how fast it is. And that's why for this race, we're going to do 10 laps around it. So let's get started. Here are the 158 marbles featuring in today's races. Over 130 of them are actually named after my own viewers. But also, I've put some other marbles in there in case you don't have a marble named for yourself. I've got some animals here at the back and also a U marble here. So feel free to select the U marble if you want to. Or we've got dog, cat, tiger, lion, lizard, snake, fish, shark, monkey, hamster, pony, horse, wasp, spider, wolf, bear, eagle, and then that's it. So guys, you can choose some of those if you don't have your own marble. And if you would like me to name a marble for you in future races, let me know in the comments section down below. All right then, the race is about to get underway and they are going to launch really fast down to the other end of the track. So the red lights are going up on screen now and four, three two one off they go green squid starting in first place but mimi ash has already taken the lead and uh, leonard in second computer in third but now uh chi elson is in first place there down in 20th we have uh john r and some other people just trading places there really quickly but uh chi has taken the fastest lap already ben's racing is now into first place well ahead of the pack eric backflips in second and the lumpman's gamer in third Mrak's nephew is fourth with the fastest lap already let's join Mrak's nephew who is only 1.5 seconds behind the leader at this point and uh, Ben's Racing still holding on to first place there. Charlie Neff has got stuck in the track, unfortunately. You'll have to wait till the next race to try and get to the end of that one. Got Noah and Doge here down in 20th and 19th, although that's changing all the time. But Ultra A is now in the lead, guys. And we're already halfway through the race at this point. Let's zoom out here and have a look at what's going on from above. Really fast down the back straight here towards lap number seven which has just begun wim has taken the lead all of a sudden national in second and archie cat was in third but now it's sebi george and all kinds of different people and milo has now taken first place actually what look how high milo is going up the wall there jumping over the booster pad and that's allowed caleb c to overtake and joseph as well strawberry and a bunch of others have gained a bit of a boost from that invisible pad near the start line but joseph is now in first place guys lap number nine we're about 30 seconds away from the end of this race. Let's join Ben's Racing then, who might cross the line first, but it's going to be pretty close. I think there goes Ben. And it's only half a lap to go now. This is so close. Oh no, Wolf has overtaken. Seth as well. Seth and Chloe. Uh, and there we are. The race has been won by Seth and Chloe. Elise Jams in second and Teddy R in third. And you see how quickly that race was over, guys. 10 laps in only about two minutes. <laughs> That's how fast it is. A few marbles have got stuck here. You can find your way inside the walls if you're going too quickly around them. But uh, don't worry, because there's another two races to go on different tracks as well. So hopefully you'll finish at least one of those. Here are the final results then, and Seth and Chloe winning, of course, in 1 minute and 54 seconds, Elise Jams in second, and Teddy R in third. Now I'm going to scroll down here so everybody taking part can see their final positions. Rack's nephew there, holding on to the fastest lap down in 40th, congratulations to you. Right, let's go and do the next one. 
This is the drop tower and it's 16 levels of rings that you've got to drop down all of the way to bottom where there's a big funnel and then you get filtered into this pot at the end and that is where the finish line is. So the first person down here is going to win the race. The way it works is every ring has a section of track with holes in it like you can see right here and the idea is that you want to fall down those holes to get onto the lower track below it. If you miss the holes you're going to have to go all of the way around again to try and fall down next time and that's where a lot of overtaking can happen so you want to try and fall down the holes every time you go round. All right then let's start the race right now and the red lights are going up on screen so three two one the barrier goes down and off they go around the first level or layer of this marble run luke s in first but is Luke going to get down the hole? No, Luke is actually going over the hole. A bunch of marbles missing the holes there and having to go around again. But Green Squid is currently in first place on the second layer down. Aiden, I think that is in second and Delumpment in third. Leonard down in 20th position though has dropped down with all these other marbles as well. So let's go back to Green Squid and see if Green is going to hit the next holes or not. But uh, on level 3 right now, jumping down again. So Green Squid is doing really well so far. Look how many marbles are still up above on that level. Jbro Plays is now up into second. And Miss Bella in third at the moment. Miss Bella not far behind Jbro Plays. And Tyler has got stuck on the layer above. But maybe somebody can knock into Tyler and get them moving again. Jbro Plays is now holding on to first position up here, look. And uh, let's go down to Zorora in 20th and see what's happening there. We've got Ophidamia up ahead with UT and... And Tim S as well. So let's see what happens to Zorora as we get to the holes here. Here they are. Ah, Zorora falls down. Okay, that's good. TF1 up ahead as well. Uh, but Tim S only just in front. Zorora bumping into Tim. And uh, Aiden there has joined the pack as well. The pack of three here. But Jbro plays is still. And there's Wasp actually. I don't know where Wasp went, but <laughs> doing pretty well there. But here's Jbro plays. Uh, in first position quite far ahead of Joseph I think yeah, there's Joseph there look and Kian has possibly overtaken Joseph even though it doesn't say it on the leaderboard yet here's Mrak C in fifth place and the way it works is there's a checkpoint every time you fall through the holes so that's when the actual leaderboard here is going to update as soon as you fall through the holes so we have computer up into second. Mrak C has overtaken somebody and gained third place. They're second now. Mrak is doing really well so far. Here is computer though. Computer man in first at the moment. And we're probably about halfway down the tower now. Yeah, there you go. Look, we're, we're sort of roughly halfway down. Um, and here is the bottom. So we've still got a fair way to go. Another couple of minutes probably. We're going to join the Rubenaut now with that melon marble. And just in front of Frozen Spider Soup there, somebody else is spinning out and is going backwards down the track. But the Rubenaut's doing really well. Just bumping into Johnny Johnny there. Harris plays going ahead as well. The Rubenaut has overtaken Storm. And Fish is right behind, catching up with Harris plays now as well so doing pretty well there let's go to the front line now because Mrak C amazingly has gone from fifth to first in a short space of time computer in second and Sozias in third national in fourth and John R in fifth but Mrak C might touch oh no Mrak's missed the holes Mrak is going to have to go around again and now computer man is ahead in first place Sozias in second and John R in third but uh, oh we've got only one level to go after this one now so there we go computer man is on the last level and might actually win the race but it depends is computer man going to go through the holes on this level or not because if you don't you might get overtaken and computer man's down where is sodzias sodzias is still up there just dropping down now computer man goes across the line and wins the race well done fastest lap of course because there is only one lap sodzias about two seconds behind has also finished national in third seven seconds behind if we go to 20th place, so we've got Monkey here, who is just ahead of Artsy. And who else have we got there? Muhammad is ahead of uh, Monkey at the moment in 17th, actually. We've got Bruno there, uh, bumping up a few places really quickly with Muhammad, which is quite impressive, actually. And then Jbro plays up in 10th at the moment. James in 9th. John R has fallen down to 8th right now, but has actually finished the race. I believe now our top 20 have completed this race. A lot of the marbles are still just after the halfway mark on this run right now. So we can see them going down. Pico there, Tommy Vids, Milo, Mr. Stixman there right at the back. Look at me. I'm right at the back behind Tommy and Eric at the moment. So I'm not quite last. But uh, there's Wasp going past. And there's the U marble. So if you have chosen that, guys, if you are the U marble, you are, well, unfortunately near the back at the moment. But you might do some overtaking. 
In fact, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you did choose the U marble or if you choose an animal or something else. I'd be really interested to find out if you want me to put this in future races as well. There's Helena and Sebi uh, and also Pico there bringing up the rear of this race and most of them fall down the U marble does fall down Sebi up ahead now all nighters is there with wolf just behind with the grass marble and there's only one level to go after this here so who's going to fall down the holes you does not and Sebi also misses the holes there so that's going to be a while to get around here and I can see spider down below with Henry S as well uh, they've both dropped down the holes I think the U marble going down luckily and uh, hopefully you're all going to finish the race. But it's getting pretty close right now. Tommy Vid's there as well going down. Spider, Revman, Lou S dropping down. And somebody needs to get down quickly or the race might end before you get there. But the U Marble, All Nighters and Captain C have all dropped down. And you're going to complete the race. Wolf is dropping down as well. Sebi's still on the track dropping down. Fantastic work. And I believe maybe everyone apart from Pico is now at the finish. Are we going to get there before the race ends? Pico drops down. Come on, Pico, quick. Get in there. Get in there before it finishes. Yes. Guys, I believe everybody finished the race, which is really, really cool. I'm so glad that happened. All right, the final results are now in, but I can confirm that everybody finished this race, which is really good news. So the fastest lap goes to Computer, who got first place as well, of course. Three minutes and 34 seconds to get down. Sodziar's in second and National in third. Now I'm going to scroll down so everybody can see their positions. But guys, don't forget, we've still got one more race on a completely different track after this one as well. So do stay tuned for that if you want to. Okay, let's go and do the last race. All right, guys, this is the motorway. And don't forget, I have done a separate video on this in the past as well. So do check that out if you want to. In fact, I think in that video, we might have made the biggest marble traffic jam that we've ever made on the channel so far. Just about down here somewhere. That was really good fun. Do go and check it out. Guys, I cannot believe that this thing is actually still working. Look at that. Look how many we've got just coming down this strip of road right now. It's ridiculous. Do you reckon this is the biggest traffic jam we've We've ever made. I mean, I think it might be. But today, of course, we're doing racing exclusively. So I'll just explain quickly. The marbles are going to start in this dumper truck here, as you can see right there, right? And they're going to go down here, and it's essentially a big sort of loop or ring. They're going to go down to the end where there's a big rock fall, a landslide. The tunnel has sort of collapsed onto the road. So they're going to turn around here and go back up the other side of the road. There's a few obstacles along the way. There's some road signs. You've got to jump over this lorry on the trailer there. There's a broken down van there's a go fast section with booster pads on it there's a car down here which has crashed and spilled its apples all over the floor and yes some of you may remember we've also got a banana on wheels in this run and the marbles are going to be tipping out of that dumper truck in three two one off they go onto the road starting this five lap race there everybody getting past the initial drop luckily it is quite dangerous that they've all made it into the slow section straight away on the left hand side of the track you go at a speed of seven which is faster than a speed of five on the right but you do get to jump over that lorry there if you're on the right hand side and gain an extra speed boost around the first corner back there and spider is taking up the rear at the moment shark there at the back as well and snake as we go here into this slow section on the back straight, there's some apples spilled across the road, holding up a few of the marbles. If you don't hit that, it is going to just help you a bit with the time. You get a quicker time around the lap. But so here we go. And the first lap has been completed. Storm is currently in first position. If we just join Storm here, going really well around that corner again on lap number two. Bruno is back here in second, not far behind Storm. Luke Hess there and Miss Bella really quickly up the inside or the outside even. Miss Bella has now taken first position. Storm has got the fastest lap right now, but Tread9 is actually taking the lead and Storm regaining it again is all very very busy and energetic at the front of this race. We have Guppy here down in 20th and then Green Squid 19th and Mimi in 18th uh, but Guppy has oh actually gained a couple of places there well done and then lost a bunch as well but look how busy it is over here we've got YouTube lover just ahead and also Huggy Wuggy is uh, is in this race we do have Huggy Wuggy here 
doing quite well sort of in the mid pack at the moment I think is the subscribe marble which is quite handy isn't it but up ahead Storm is still in the lead on lap number four now but hang on a minute is Captain C in the lead actually or is Captain C a whole lap behind at this point I'm not too sure it looks like Captain C is a whole lap behind at this point and Mr. Stixman is up into fifth I cannot believe it Wasp in fourth I'm losing a few places there and uh, James though is in second Kitty Cat in third right now we're going to join Mimi down here in 20th, but actually Storm is almost starting the final lap of this race. And Aiden P has taken the fastest lap so far and might actually hold on to it towards the end. But now the last lap has begun. So we're going to join Storm and see if anybody can overtake. But James is right behind. Look at that. James the Gamer, so close behind in second. And Luke S as well in third, a bit far back, but could hold on to third. Aiden there is very close though. And here comes Storm around the final back straight and is surely going to win this race very, very soon here. But Aiden P holding on to the fastest lap at the moment. Uh, guys, this is getting really interesting now. Storm going around there. Captain C up ahead, almost a lap behind. Here comes Storm, and the race has been won by Storm. James in second, and Miss Bella takes third. Well done to Aiden P though for holding on to that fastest lap right at the end. Very impressive work. And thank you to everybody for racing in today's video. Don't forget guys, if you want to be in a future race, let me know in the comments section down below. All right then, the results are now in and Storm has won in 2 minutes and 48 seconds. James in second and Miss Bella in third. Aiden P taking the fastest lap. Now I'm going to scroll down so everyone can see their positions. And don't forget guys, you can pause the screen if you want to at any point to try and find your name. Okay, that's it for today's video, but thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you did enjoy it. And as I said earlier, there's a whole lot more exciting and new stuff coming to the channel this year. We've actually just reached 24,000 subscribers as well, which is unbelievable. I just cannot believe it. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me on this journey. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.